very awkward. Yeah, generally speaking, you want to be more stacked with your Ryan for most of this fight. Um, as a Lucio, your primary responsibilities are pretty much always either to your Ryan or to your flex support, depending who's in more danger. And in, like these brawl metas, it's pretty much always going to be your Ryan. Um, and then you support like DPS or off tank, like whenever like makes sense in the situation. But in this case, right, like um, you have a Ryan, so you need to help your Ryan. So, right here, first of all, your Ryan probably shouldn't stop. You should, like, get into this hallway at least, right? And you should, like, join him, right? You should, like, stack right here with him, and that way you, can, um, you can't you can get cut off by the wall. That's not you. There, there you are. So, first of all, you shouldn't go heal here, because, like, presumably the Ryan's going to do something soon, right? So, you want to like, just, like, stay on speed until you've got, he's gotten where he wants to go, and then you can stay on heal. Right, so the problem here is he's moving forward, and you're not there with him. So you're not stacked with them, and then this wall separates you. Normally, this is not a huge issue for Lucio, because you can just, like, play above the walls like that. But unless you're playing out here or something, which is probably not the place to be, you can't, like, really do that here, right? So you have to compromise your positioning to stay stacked with your run, because there's no convenient walls for you to go over, right? And this is why, also, it's important for Dan to keep going, because you lost confidence in walking forward, and then when you walked forward, you weren't ready to follow him, right? But you need to be ready to follow him, is what I'm saying. Right, this wall can't completely separate you. Uh, for what it's worth, instead of like shooting the wall, you can actually just like hit amp, run around here, and probably get your team in position to help faster than if like you just like try to shoot through the wall. Like you, you <laughs> the, these three people don't actually don't exactly have a lot of damage, um, so it becomes very awkward. So if you hit amp, um, I'm actually curious like how fast this is. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure if you hit amp, your team gets like your bat gets to jump over this and help your Ryan, and you get over the wall as well and help your Ryan before like. Um, you guys end up actually breaking the wall, and, and this position is very awkward as well. Um, it's also really bad that your Mei wasn't in there as well, because your Mei needs to, stack with, needs, to, needs to be stacked with the Ryan even more than you. Um, but yeah, very awkward situation. You could boop. You looked a little lost here, but you know, these fights are incredibly hectic, so... So this is a very common problem for Lucius, but your amp needs to be paired with some kind of action from your team. Um, the amp can only be for yourself if you're literally about to die and you need to use it, right? But right here, this amp, right, this is good aggressive play, right? You can solve the point out, this is fine. You go for a boop, that's also fine. But this amp to get out, like, is not very necessary because the, the Reaper was wraith, a wraithing, and like, you're not really scared about, like, Mayfree. So unless she dinks you, you're not really scared. Um, and you don't need to even cross this way, you can just kind of climb the wall, jump over the side, and you're completely safe. So you burn amp to get back to your team, but instead, like, your team doesn't get the amp value, and as a result, like, it's kind of just a wasted amp. That's not you. That's a good boop into the pit. It's a Reaper, though. He'll probably be back about up in, like, two seconds. Actually, oh yeah, he has Shadow Step. Cool. Yeah, so he's back, but... This is too aggressive. Again, you don't really need to do this. Just hang out on the wall, shoot them from range. You don't need to be that close to hit them. Uh, and make sure you're in position to give auras to your team. Because your team needs your speed to get in, right? Your Ryan, like, he's, like, he has trouble getting from here to here, right? So help him out. This is good, right? Just make sure you, you start getting on top of the walls again, right? There's Especially when there's no McCree. There's actually no McCree, no Zarya. You're scared of nothing against this team, right? So just get on the walls, right? It's broken. It's not you. Why do you keep doing that? That's too aggressive. Again, you don't need to be doing this when you can just be right here and doing the same impact, right? And while also providing auras, right? You don't need to chase this guy out here to do that. She's already out of the fight. But, like, as Lucio, you're allowed to roam to some extent in the middle of fights, right? But there's sort of like a... Um, you should have like a mental leech on you to, on how far you are away from your, your BAP and your ride, right? Those are the two cornerstones of people you need to protect at all times, right? Um, and you don't have to be with them at all times, sorry, like, the, the cornerstones of people you have to protect. Um, so if you spend too long away from them, or not looking at them, then you've got an issue, right? So you spent the entire fight looking at this diva, right? You you got to this point, you amped, um, I think you amped, and then you went here, and then you went all the way over here without ever looking back, right? And that's not okay, right? You gotta, like, it was just why it's better to do this, shoot the diva as much as you want, or shoot these guys, because that's what your team is focusing, right? Um, 
But if you want to demac the diva because you think it's more important, that's totally okay as well. Because uh, you think Spike's already winning. So then you shoot the diva from here, right? And then you help your team with auras, right? Maybe you boop, right? And then as like your team confirms, you, you confirm your team's okay, and the diva thinks it looks like she's trying to run away. Right? That's that's when you chase, right? But you don't chase until then, right? All right, so when you're spamming, it's okay to be on ground level, get some uh, easier shots, right? But as soon as the fight's about to start, you need to be climbing a wall. This one, this one, it doesn't really matter. You need to get up on one of these walls and start playing for, like, better, like, positioning. Because if you get shattered right now, this is on you. I know he doesn't have it, but, you know, like, assume, like, the worst, right? So if, if you get, they drop a window now and they, and they blow through you, it's because you were here and not up here or here. We can easily duck behind the wall, right? This is on you, like, your position. Your position is just very rough here. Like, you, you were in a spamming position the entire time, even right as the fight's about to start. And also, being on a wall makes it a lot faster to respond to their wall, right? Alright, this is good, right? Once you get into the fight, like, you start doing stuff. Again, you don't want to be here. Like, where are your auras, right? Non-existent, right? Again, you don't need to be here to do damage, right? You you can be here and do damage. You can be here and do damage. You can be on top of this thing and not having to worry about wall riding and still be able to do damage, right? But you contribute more to your team while doing this, right? Do you see how this works? And then if you want to flank, right, then you can, but, like, start from your team and then figure out where, where you can flank for maximum value, right? It's a very questionable boop. Ryan doesn't get booped very far in general, and also to some extent you kind of want them to walk in and get walled. Um, and if you restack them too much, like it's kind of like difficult to find a good wall at that point. And second, like because the Ryan doesn't get booped, he gets a free hammer swing on you, and if he gets two, you're actually in real danger of dying. And gets a comp you're supposed to be invincible against for the most part. Nice. Again, play the walls, right? So um, when you're trying to help your team, right? Try and make sure that you land on top of this, unless there's a McCree directly like staring you in the face, right? But against again, against this comp, you're invincible, so you can like land here, get vision of what's going on behind the behind the wall, right? Shoot them, boot them back if like they're actually really scary, right? Um, and then or drop down and then like boot this guy back, but you don't want to end up here because this is like the position of like minimal impact. You want to be here so you can boot this guy in or something, or boot these guys out, whatever the case may be. So, uh, McCree kills everything. Take those. Hunting for the TP, it's whatever. Alright. See how long you spent not looking at your BAP, and then your BAP was critical and you had no idea. That, like, again, that can't be let, that, that can't happen. You gotta look at your teammates. And again, positioning wise, look where you are. Look at the enemy team. Look how close you are. And not on, on a wall or behind cover, right? And you're still staying here, that's the worst part, right? Like, you gotta recognize that, like, before, it's okay to spam and build ult and stuff like that, except A, first of all, you already have ult, and B, um, the fight's about to start, and this is no longer spamming, right? You're not playing for poke anymore, you're playing for positioning, for the fight, right? And this is very sketch positioning, right? That's on you, you shouldn't be here. You should be here, or here, or here, right? But this should not be, you should not be here, right? So you die with beat, that's on you. Alright, so instead of spamming, right? Instead of spamming, spamming's okay, but if you're going to spam, make sure you spend also spend time looking around, seeing where your teammates are, seeing how, how collected everyone is, and calling the engage, right? You can absolutely do this as Lucio, because, like, you, you control the speed, you control, you, control, you can control the pathing of where the team goes, right? And then you can control the timing as well with amp. So, like, yes, the spam is cool, but you have beat, you're not gaining anything from the spam, and, if you're, and like, if you're, if you're up here, like, on the walls, like, shooting, it should be to, it, it shouldn't be, the primary purpose should not be to, to spam, it should be to gain information so that you can call a play better, right? But if you're not looking at your team, you don't know where anyone is, right? Then it's very difficult to call a play, right? So, this stuff needs to be paired with looking at your team, right? So, get some, take some shots, look where people are, right? Then drop down, look at your team, and then call, call an action, right? B. 
beat. Oh, that's an awkward Maywall. Yeah, you should be calling like a, a general retreat now, right? Again, you're so focused on this idea of flanking, right? That you're not speeding the team. Like you have amp right now. Like amp, speed your team out. Try to boop someone back, right? Get your team out. Especially your high energy Zarya, right? You gotta be thinking about this stuff. You can't just be thinking about flanking and trying to like turn this fight or something because your team is down so much right now. Like you're amping for yourself again, right? Like, what's the point of this? You know. Like, you got the kill, but your high energies are you died. That's a net loss, right? My God, this bat has such bad aim. <laughs> Again, what are you amping for? You just amp for yourself. And you're crossing in front of them instead of crossing like this to get back to your team safely, right? Or even like crossing around the side of the map because you can do that as Lucio. Like you can absolutely amp for yourself as a Lucio player, but the amp also needs to do things for your team, right? If all you do is amp for yourself, you're... Amp is actually one of the biggest cooldowns in the entire game. It's so, so, so important. So, if you're going to amp for yourself, you better get an insane amount of value. Like, a ludicrous amount of value. Like, a three-man boop or something off the side of the map, right? Generally speaking, though, most of the time, you want to amp. If you're going to... You can amp for yourself, right? But it needs to also get value for your teammates, right? And a lot of your last couple amps have been for yourself and exclusively for yourself. Like, you amp right here to do a Reaper, right? Instead of amping to get your team out of trouble, right? And then maybe you go for the Reaper uh, with the remainder of the amp, right? Again, you're just like stacking with your team, playing low ground, and that cuts, gets you caught by a lot of stuff. And now you're jumping in with like half health, and this is super sketch. Now you're spending time running away. You're taking focus from your other healer. You're amping again for yourself. This isn't this isn't this isn't a called play by your team, right? This is literally I took damage. I'm amping to save myself, right? And that's not okay, right? Well, okay, so amping to save yourself is okay, right? But don't put yourself in a situation for no reason. Like I mean, you just kind of just jumped out here, right? Like, <laughs> don't do that, right? Um, like play the walls, play the high ground, right? Shoot. If you uh, uh, when you can, right? And then call a play for your team with and that involves amp, right? So like tell your team to run in, right? And then you either amp them in or you hold amp say to heal them um, when they're fighting or to amp them out, right? By baiting aggression, right? So one thing you're worried about is if, if you're worried about Blizzard, right? You can tell the team to engage, right? They walk in, they walk in, they walk in, right? And then as soon as you hear Blizzard, you, you yell back, 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 right? And you hit amp and everyone just kites back out, right? And now you've wasted an ult, right? That's su something super strong that Lucio can like do pretty much on amp cooldown, really. Um, it just forces a reaction then amp out, right? Or amp in and then like go for a kill, and then if they try to ult you, you just keep going and end up on the other side, and then you dodge the ult that way as well. Um, but, like, you have the power to do that. Don't get caught up in your own shooting and your own doing things, right? Call team plays, right? Get your team involved in your own amps, right? And the amp can be for you, right? Again, if you call it aggression, right, you, um, you'll you be like, alright, push, 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 go, go, go. Um, I'm amping, right? And as you amp, right, then you split off and go do something else, right? But you gave your team enough amp to get in, right? And that's what matters. But don't amp for yourself. Only when you absolutely have to, like to save yourself. But it, don't put yourself in situations where you have to do it to save yourself, because those are situations are always very rough. Right? Why is fighting here okay and going deep? Because you're relatively close to your team, and you like the motion, the direction was like push out, get the kill, bounce back, right? And now you're with your team. So the amount of time you're not with your team was relatively low, right? Whereas like when you're chasing the diva, like like if you if you got the diva and you bounced back, right, that would be different. But you went for the diva and you kept going, right? <laughs> So again, you get the kill, you come back, right? You don't even have to kill, like, actually. You can go out there, try and kill someone, and you don't get the kill, right? Like, you do some damage, and then, like, I don't know, you dodge a flashbang or something, and then you just run away, right? Lucio, like, has the ability to do that all the time. That's what makes him so annoying. It's like, you can just, like, control when the fight actually happens, whenever you want. Good positioning. Alright, kind of a struggle, but go for that boot. Uh, that's awkward. By the way, getting up back here is insanely hard. Like, <laughs> you gotta know, like, how to do it. Like, there's a very specific pattern to get up here relatively quickly, but getting back up is, like, really bad. Uh, really hard, so as Lucio, like, unless you know the rollouts and stuff like that, like, you, you never want to fall in here. It's really bad.
Jump back in to save yourself. That's okay, I guess. But kind of sketch, just in general. Nice. You lived overall. Didn't die. That's always good. Alright, I spent 15 minutes on that. Jesus. Uh, I'll do, like, maybe one more. <laughs> On <laughs> theme two, hurry up. Alright. Oh, we're playing uh, Brawl here? Interesting. Again, don't go don't go heal here, right? Team I don't care if anyone's taking poke, right? Your back can heal it. Your team needs to get to like this part of the map as fast as they can for the fight, right? Oh, you saw the bubble, that's kind of awkward. Oh my god, free boops. Oh, I didn't get it. Unlucky. Uh... Fine. <laughs> nice. Camp yet. So, one of the key things about their comp, by the way, is that they're actually a more aggressive comp than us. It may not look like it, but they're actually a more aggressive comp. So, for one thing, they don't have a BAP, so they don't have a save. Um, they're, like, all in on getting, like, really strong, like, really, like, strong nades or, like, tempo pushing with, with Nano. Um, and then also, they have a Monkey, which does a lot less damage than um, than Zarya in, uh, in, like, the later parts of fights. But in the early parts of fights, the bubble plus the cleave is actually, like, incredible. It does, like, so much. So one thing to watch out for is whatever the monkey's doing, right? So whenever the monkey goes for a play, the whole team should be like backing up, right? Kiting and like trying to like wear out the monkey. And then once the monkey bubble drops, he takes some damage. He has to jump out or bat bail in some way, right? Then you hard commit, right? You exploit that gap. Um, but you want to you want to burn as few resources as possible during the monkey's play, right? Um, that's something you need to really watch out for. This is a very uncommon form of die of like comp here. So I don't, I don't expect you guys to know that, but um, it's actually very very dangerous. Um, cause it's, it's sort of a cheese comp, but it's very strong at what it does. Um, so just keep that in mind. So this is too aggressive, knowing that the monkey just made his play, right? The monkey jumped here, and do you see how he zoned out two people just by jumping, right? He didn't really do much, to be honest, but he zoned out two people who can no longer contribute, right? And so getting aggressive here is very, very scary, right? When you're amping, like, and your team's trying to go aggressive here, but this is not the, this is not the play. Like, it's gonna work probably, but like, it's very sketch. Yeah. Like, your team is just better than theirs. <laughs> like, uh, I've, I've, I've bought reviewed a bunch of this scrim already um, for other people, and like, it was straight like full holds on a lot of the other maps, right? But like, that comp is very scary. You need to be very mindful of playing aggressive when the monkey does something. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit of a struggle. Again, right, the amp was mostly just to heal yourself, right? You kind of used it to get your team out of position, uh, out of like that position, but like they could have walked there pretty easily. Also, you gotta stop taking fire strikes. That was really close. You've taken so many. Again, right, positioning. Why are you here and not like, like jumping around on top of this thing or up here or up here, right? There, there's a whole bunch of places you can be, and you chose to be right here, right? It's not that bad because they're not flanking. If the Mercury is pushing around at the same time, like your team would kind of be in trouble if you can't beat. They walk straight into a wall. Alright, they also have the monkey, so you really don't care about what they do anymore. Help your team, help your team, right? This guy, Fush is committing, right? So you gotta be there with him, right? If he dies, right, the team has to back out anyways. So you gotta be with her and help him out uh, in terms of like getting the kill or also or backing, right? Just at, at minimum, keep him in your aura range, right? And try to convince some of your teammates to help him out. Like, like help me, help me, help me, right? 
like that. That was good, right? You just want to, as soon as you recognize that he's still going in, you need to, uh, you, you need to hustle, right? And convince teammates to go with you, right? Like your Ryan didn't even try to get up there, <laughs> right? Um, and you guys gotta help him because if your mate dies, like you guys are in a lot of trouble. They're on hog now. What the heck? Again, you're really focused on spamming, but the point of spamming for Lucio is not usually to build ult, right? Ult's cool, right? But your main job is to get information, right? And also collect ult. But you have the ult, right? So your main job is information, right? And you're focusing probably too hard on getting ult, right? And you risk getting hooked. And someone else got hooked, right? But like, um, it's kind of sketch. You see the fight happening, right? Don't walk over here to meet it, right? Hang out over here and like spam it and like try to bait the hook, but don't walk at it because this is more likely to get you killed because you just run out of options if like your team isn't applying pressure at the same time. Right. So you were entirely reliant on the boot making a miss. And I made a miss, but like it's a gamble. Nice. Good chase down. Ooh. You saw that trap, right? <laughs> Not a whole lot to talk about in that one, to be honest. We kind of just ran them over, and our mistakes weren't even punished. <laughs> Alright. Nice. The amp's good, right? It was it was partially to get you out of trouble, but it was also with your team going in, right? So automatically, amp is good. And you're also playing the walls. This is too aggressive, right? You want to keep playing this corner, and you want to start bouncing back unless you see a teammate, like unless you see your right here. This is too aggressive, right? And you can see once you get to this point and you don't see your right, just like turn around, right? And you can absolutely do that, Lucia, right? But this is too aggressive because now you're stuck and you're probably gonna die. Okay, you didn't die, but you should have died. <laughs> Be uh, again, uh, I was going to say, not again, but like, your team needs to be careful fighting in this room, because like, wall, right? Last time, like, you, they burned a wall earlier, so you didn't really care, um, but like, now that, like, you can't stay here, right, as a team, because this is going to happen, right? Big lamp save, big bubble save, big flank from your DPS, yeah, yeah, be, be careful of that, right? And that's something like, that's not really specific to you, but it is specific to your comms, right? You need to tell the team to not play in there. Um. Again, you're really focused on poking, right? But your priority actually is trying to figure out how to, the team is set up, right? Like, um, as Lucio, right? Like, you don't really have to, a ton of mechanical stuff to worry about, right? This is cool, right? But you, uh, but your priority is setting your team up, and if you have time to do this, this is better, right? Um, but like the the priority is like getting your team set up, planning for the next fight. If this costs you the ability to think about next fight, don't do this, right? This is good if you can also do everything else at the same time. Hey, ate another fire strike. Feels bad. Again, you don't really want to play here. You much rather play like over here. Or up here, where you can get a boop, right? There's a bunch of places you can be, or even further back with your bap, um, and just calling like team stuff, right? Like health, um, or like when to engage and when not to engage, and things like that. But you don't really want to be here. This is really greedy, right? If you get shattered, right, it's on you. I just love when I'm proven right. <laughs> you don't want to go this way around the wall. You want to go this way around the wall. Uh, cause this is how you get boops, right? This is, you can't get boops this way. This way is way more cool. <laughs> Nap's okay cause your team is dying. Like see, see how strong this position is, right? <laughs> and you're not doing any damage. You're just sitting here, right? And just by being here, you threaten th their walkout, right? And if, like, they walk out, you get damage from behind, right? Or you get a big boot, right? This is super, super scary for the enemy team. Just you playing here. But you playing here and shoving their face doesn't do anything, no matter how much damage you do. Lucio just doesn't do enough damage for that to matter, right? This is scary. This is not scary. 
This is how you die. This is how you you kill you kill people. Hey, look at that! Free boot. All right, now it doesn't matter because you won the fight. Tito lost. You might be lost. <laughs> Unlucky. Doesn't know the staircases. Again, you're, you're going here to scout, right? But this is very deep, right? And I don't know if our team's playing for this, right? And once you scout that they are, you don't need to spam anymore. Just leave. You already scouted what they're doing, right? Right, again, you don't need to drop to amp. Don't lead with your face, right? Lead with your voice and your cooldowns, but not your face. So if you want to amp for the drop to chase a kill, right? Amp, right? Get your get your tanks going, right? And then go find the person they're trying to they're they're trying to catch, right? The May, whoever it is, right? May's probably not the best person to go for, but like Bap, Lucia, whatever. Find the person they're, they're, your tanks are dropping for, because your team should be dropping without a target, right? They should be dropping and chasing somebody in particular, right? So amp, get your team your tanks moving, right? And then find the guy they're looking for, drop and boop the guy in, right? That's that's how you make impact. You don't make impact by dropping and getting a couple extra shots in, right? Good beat. Um, so overall, um, most important things for you are just being aware of like um, how your amp cooldown works in terms of like how it interacts with your team, right? So you need to, uh, at all costs, avoid amping for yourself, right? And putting yourself in positions where you have to amp for yourself. Uh, for the most part, amping should be a team action. Team, the team should be doing something with every single amp, right? Even if it's as simple as like we're dying, so we need that to heal, so we're trying to heal. <laughs> but for the most part, like. Every amp should result in some kind of team action, forward, backwards, stand in place, right? Whatever the team is designed to do, right? The amp should support that. Um, and um, as a general, and also you need to stop poking um, and sacrificing position for it. So on the last map, you just were constantly like standing in like low ground in front of them as the fight was about to start. Like, you've got to take position before then. You can poke early on, right? And you can, and you especially if you're scouting, right? But as soon as your scouting job is done, right, and the fight is about to start, you need to be in, already set in a good position. It, that, I can't emphasize that enough. You need to already be set in a good position, um, and that way you don't get caught by all these random shatters, right? Lucio should almost never be getting shattered, right? It should happen as, like, a surprise when, like, you're running in with amp and getting your team in, and there happens to be no convenient walls or something. That's the only time you should be getting shattered, um, for the most part, right? Um... Or like I don't know, like you're hanging out on a corner with your Ryan or something, and you don't feel you don't you forgot to go vertical because like you were just chilling, uh, and then the other Ryan just jumps around the corner and shatters or something. Like it should be like extremely rare for Lucy to be getting shattered, but you were getting shattered like literally every time he did, right? And that's not that's something that shouldn't be happening, and that's just a result of your positioning and the fact that you're not pre-positioning yourself on good spots before the fight happens, right? Like you don't need to be here, right? You should be here this whole time, or here this whole time, or here, or transition between the three, right? But you should not be here, right? This is just really bad, right? If you're here. In advance, this position is super, super strong, right? Um, and you want to be in these strong positions in advance. If you need, if you need time to figure that out, it, what that, uh, figure out what these positions are, um, because they, like sometimes they're not really automatic to come up with, right? That's what you need to spend time thinking about instead of spending your time poking, right? This poke gives you like two percent all, maybe three percent if you're lucky, right? Um, if you get ten percent, you're extraordinarily lucky, and they're also dumb, right? But like that's not what wins the fight. This is what wins the fight, and not dying here, right? Um. Yeah. Uh, I think that was the big points. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Uh, if you get to this part of the video, DM me what. Um. Fifteen plus seventeen equals. <laughs>